Hey entrepreneurs, today I'm going to tell you about the best keyword research tool out there right now and best of all, it's absolutely free. So are you ready? Hey, it's Salma Jafri and you are in the right place if you want to know more about personal branding with video. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe icon and the bell notifications next to it so you're the first to know when I upload a new video. Today we're talking all about keyword research tools and I want to introduce you to my favorite keyword research tool. It's called, it's called Keywords Everywhere and I want to show you how to use that because it is such a great tool to find great ideas, great content topics and to know the search volume for each of those topics. So let's Let's get started. The tool is called Keywords Everywhere and you can go and access it by going to keywordseverywhere.com. Now this is an extension that is applicable for Chrome so it's a Chrome extension as well as a Firefox in extension and to install it you just simply click install for, for Chrome and then once you do that you're just going to install it on your system and then over here once it's installed you're going to see this little a bar um, in the tool area of your search bar. It's going to be this red K that's going to come up once a successful install is made. And then once that is done, you need to go get your free API key. So you can go here and get your free API key and they're going to email it to you. So it's that simple. And then once it's installed, you can get started. Now, how does this actually work? So Keywords Everywhere is a great tool to use when you are just doing a Google search, but also it integrates with all of these different websites, Google Search, Google Trends, eBay, Answer the Public, Keyword Planner, Bing, Etsy, lots and lots of uh, different websites that it integrates with. So if you're already using one of these websites, I'm going to show you uh, how it integrates with one of my favorite websites, which is Answer the Public. But before we go there, let's do put it to the test by typing in a keyword. So let's say how to um, bake a cake in a microwave, right? Let's do a search for this. And what you're gonna see right up over here is the result that you're getting because keywords everywhere is enabled. So it says that the volume, the search volume for this keyword is 3,600 searches every single month. It also gives you advertiser data so you can find out what the cost per click is if you were to use Google AdWords for this keyword and what the competition rating is as well. So it also gives you data from an advertiser perspective but also from a general user perspective. I find it great for doing this kind of research when I'm putting together a content strategy and I'm trying to find out okay what videos do I want to make that have the potential to rank because uh, depending on what people are searching for so it's absolutely great for that so how to bake a cake in the microwave is 3600 searches a month but that's not it the best is yet to come so if you scroll all the way to the bottom of Google search you often find searches related to your initial search topic right initial search phrase and what's great about this it is that the tool gives you additional search volumes for all of these related terms as well so simple cake recipes in microwave oven how to make cake in a microwave oven like right? how to make a sponge cake um, and you can tell that for example how to make vanilla cake in the microwave has 480 searches happening per month so you can gauge what topics are in demand, what additional topics you can make videos on. And this is great if you are uh, a YouTuber who utilizes the power of playlists. So if you have an entire playlist on microwave cooking, then you can use all of these related keyword searches, know what the search volume is, know what the demand is for these, and you, you're gonna have like demand ready topics. You're gonna to have topics that are going to be um, in demand that are gonna get you traffic over a long period of time. These are all evergreen keywords so you can use that. I'm gonna show you another example here. Um, I typed this in, how to use Facebook Live, right? And this is a keyword that is getting 5,400 monthly searches every single month. And again, if you go scroll down, you can again see all of the related searches that are happening as well. Facebook Live video for Android, how to download a Facebook Live for instance, Facebook Live for video streaming, Facebook Live on laptop. All of these searches are getting good search volumes, 1300 a month, 3600 a month, 
8,100 a month, 8,100 a month, as you can see. So that is great for gauging demand. Now I want to show you something else that you can do. You can go to where Google asks, uh, gives you this place where you can also find out what other related topics people are asking for. So people are also asking for, can you go live on Facebook on a laptop, for instance? Select this, open a new vind window here, type this in, and you can get the search volumes for all of these related topics as well, right? So for example, in this one, can you go live on Facebook on a laptop, even though it, it has 50 million <laughs> search results, but it is not a very, um, a search phrase that is in demand. So you can just scroll down and see what else is related to this. And here I see OBS Studio Facebook Live as 1000 monthly searches. So that could be um, a great side topic because OBS is an external software that you can use to go live on Facebook and broadcast your screen and do all of that cool stuff in. So you can you know, easily get to know what related topics are going to actually drive traffic to your videos and what topics to make videos about. Now I want to show you how Keywords Everywhere integrates with um, a site that I often use for keyword research, which is called Answer the Public, right? So we're going to type in Facebook Live, get questions. So here you can see inside Answer the Public, which is a tool that aggregates data about questions that people are asking Google. And then it presents it to you in this circular form. Now, if I scroll down, I see that people are, um, these are the questions people are asking, 85 questions around the keyword Facebook Live. And the best thing is that I can see all of these results, how Facebook Live video works, um, how to use Facebook Live, how to Facebook Live for iOS, when will Facebook Live be available. But as you can see, as I hover on these keywords, because I'm integrated, answer the public with keywords everywhere, I can see the search volumes directly inside answer the public, right? So I don't need to, um, so it's an all-in-one tool. So I can see all of the questions that people are asking around this topic. And, the, and I don't have to do any guesswork around this. I can see exactly the, the questions people are asking about Facebook Live, and then I can go in here, integrate, answer the public with keywords everywhere, and I can get an accurate estimate about what the search volume is for all of these keywords. So if I'm hesitant about which um, topic to make a video on, this is gonna help me make my decision. It's gonna make my decision easier, obviously, and I wanna be able to choose some of the best performing keywords with the biggest search volume. So here is the information in a linear format as well. So for example, Facebook Live Chat has 8,100 uh, searches happening a month, Facebook Live Camera, uh, Facebook Live Chat Help, um, all of these, you can just go through them and see what appeals to you and what kind of topics you could make videos about, right? So Facebook Live from your computer has 1,900 searches happening a month, and so this is a great tool. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that look into Keywords Everywhere, which is one of the best free keyword research tools out there right now. I think it is a killer for Google AdWords Planner because it's getting too complicated to use that. And what I love about it is its integration with all these other tools. So you can do this search inside YouTube, you can use Ubersuggest, you can do Answer the Public, any of your favorite tools that you're already using, Keywords Everywhere is gonna integrate with that. It's great for just immediately looking up keywords while you're searching for them and as you get ideas, because it's right there in your browser, in your Google search browser, and you can do that search in a matter of minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with everyone who you know so that you can help them get better at keyword research as well. Leave me a comment below if this was useful for your business and how you intend to use it, and maybe some of the keyword searches that you're gonna perform using it. I would love to hear what your results are with using this. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media.